Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Reed Springs, Missouri, with JC News Now as he attempts to air out his grievances at the uh, local city council meeting. But he gets totally owned by practically everybody there with the truth instead of the misinformation that he tends to spout out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. My name is JC. I'm a constitutionalist. I'm an independent journalist. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever, dude. Uh, you're a constitutionalist. That's a big laugh. And the fact that you claim to be a journalist. Well, dude, what have you ever reported? I mean, all I ever see you do is antagonize people. That's not what journalists do. They go out and report the stories. They don't create the stories, you freaking moron. And uh, today I was doing a story at the post office and I asked your chief of police to, if I could have his name and badge number. And he chose to have an ego and not identify. Oh, poor baby. I'd like to make this... Uh, town aware that there's a badge act it was enacted in 1983 it's a federal law and it was revisited in 2020 and reinstituted hey can you provide a citation for that because i tried to look that up and i couldn't find it anywhere so which leads me to believe that you pulled that right out of your ass and uh as well uh, these cops are about to educate you on certain aspects of uh, badge identification and uh, but you're not going to receive it too well and you're going to get owned anyway so let's continue on shall we this is a problem that it's a federal law but there was also an addendum to it that says all town municipal and state agencies need to institute a likewise policy that Everyone has to identify with their name, rank, and badge number, or call number. Apparently there's not a policy here in Reed Springs. And they gave the, the states a year's time to institute this policy or they would be in risk of losing their omnibus funding. So, Jimmy, you are issuing threats based upon uh, possibly false information that you may or may not have pulled out of your ass and you expect them to cooperate with you yeah you're about to get by owned by these guys i'm here to warn y'all that i write letters that's what i do i'm an activist and if this policy is not in place soon i'm going to do everything i can to remove the omnibus funding for the police department okay, okay. I'm, I'm not through how do you know how to file a complaint? I'd like to know who do you work for, sir? I work for Reed Springs Police Department. Who is, um, I mean, who is your supervisor? Sir, 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 sir. you're not controlling this thing. Come on. No, but I'll get a chance to speak. No, 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 you're you, you asked to speak to the board. We okay. the board, So I am going to, I'm going to, uh, at the end of this conversation. Yes, sir. I'm going to uh, thank you for the education and look into it. Yes, sir. But I would like to ask one of my high-ranking officers uh, that has quite a bit of knowledge about this, mm -hmm. uh, his opinion on that. Could you come and give me your opinion, yes, sir? sir? And, and you, state your name, sir. Let me get my supermodel side, please. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, are you referring to HR uh, 7153 and 7711? No, it's the Badge Act of 1983. Well, have, if it's federal, it has to have an HR in front of it and a number. Do you yeah. know what those are? I don't have the code with me. Is why you fail. Hey, Jimmy boy, uh, did you know that if you go make a claim that you have to have evidence to back it up and you walking in here and making a claim and not having the evidence to back it up makes you look like a total moron at this point and that is why you get owned in this damn meeting if you would have had something to back it up with maybe you could have made it out of here without looking like a damn fool okay hr 7153 is for federal law enforcement not for municipalities 
7711, yeah. which is where we get the grant funding, also relates to identification as a police officer, which we have on our shoulders. So no violation has been in effect. The other one where we have to identify, there is no state or federal law in any state that says we have to identify, nor is there any police policy within our department that says we have to identify ourselves. Even though it's written on our chest and our badge number is on our badge, and if there's any citations issued, they are, they are issued. And it has those that information on it. Also, any police reports will have that information as well. I thank you, sir. Okay. Does that answer your question? No, it doesn't. There is, a, other than even if it wasn't a law, who does this man work for? He works for the city of Reed Springs. Okay, it's who? On his, it's on his chest. It's who, on his who, shirt. I'm, who is that? It's the people. He works for the taxpayers. He's their employee. Mm -hmm. so. Correct. Are you a taxpayer in the city of Reed Springs? I'm a taxpayer. In the city of Reed Springs. It doesn't matter. I'm you a taxpayer. If I buy a piece of gum in Reed Springs, I pay tax on it. Okay. <laughs> wow, that is a pathetically bad argument right there, dude. Sales tax, state sales tax, goes to the state, not to the local municipalities they get their taxes elsewhere so why don't you try well reading a book or something and learning more about this because you really need help dude i think if 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 that question that you just told us i don't feel like i've been educated and properly i do feel like that our officer that we send for training every year several classes uh far exceeds your ability of what you know about this. So on this particular thing, the what I got out of it is that if we didn't proceed properly, that you were going to uh, go after our funding and blah, blah, blah. To me, that's a threat. Yes, sir. So I think you should do that. Okay, I'm going to. Thank you very much. I'm not your, finished. Your time is up now. Your, my your, time is up? Yeah, few minutes. Well, you used part of my time. You weren't even on the agenda. You're not yeah. even on the agenda. We let you on the But you gave me permission to speak. Is this how it is? There's no accountability here? We have lots of accountability. And any Apparently not. You've got a man. Has to Sir, be on the agenda. Don't speak right. loud to me. And I'll, I'll speak oh, loud to you. I want no, to. No, I'll speak loud to you, you sir. You are on the taxpayers. You, sir, you, are, you <laughs> are in the middle of my meeting. Yes, sir. And you are disrupting. You gave me permission to speak. And I closed off your permission. You had an ad, you had a question. See, you're a tyrant, sir. You are a tyrant, and this is <laughs> going to. Oh, I know it. My wife said it. Yes, that sir. Day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are I am a tyrant, tyrant sir. And oh. you don't give me orders. Hey, JC, hey, JC can I ask you one question? Well, if I can respond. Oh, sure. Uh, answer me. I'll ask you one question. Jeez. If we get one person in here that will agree with you and raise her hand and agree with your statements, we'll let you continue. If nobody raises her hand, are we done? Do I can I respond? Sure. Well, I'm. No, I don't make deals. Okay. I don't make deals, and I don't do favors. So we're done. You don't make deals and you don't do favors for people. So in other words, well, okay then. How the hell did you ever get anything done in your life? Because life is all about uh, making deals and, uh, well, doing favors for people so they can do favors for you later on down the line. Uh, and, uh, well, like if you're going to trade one job for another job, I mean, everything like that, dude. How the hell did you make it this far in life? I need, We're done. I, so, need a, I need a motion. I'll make the be motion. done with this. I make the motion. We're I'll done. I'll second it. Here you have it, y'all. No, no, no accountability. This cat here, <laughs> he's accused. He's accused, but he still wants to put in his two cents. Who do I file a complaint on you, sir? I appreciate that very much. It won't be a first. Who do I file a complaint on about you? Them? Uh, well, uh, now it's going up to the Police Standards Commission and the State Attorney sir, General. You are a tyrant. Richard, you're our, our, our door. Door. Back at you, boy. <laughs>